Hey everyone, it's Angus here. I just wanted to create a video to show you how you can share a watch list that you might have um, with friends and families and followers. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've you know created a whole bunch of stocks that I um, I'm currently following in the crypto space, and um, you know it's just a you know very simple list, and you know I don't need to go through you know what each of them are, but you can sort of see that they're performing quite well, you know, along with uh, crypto's you know recent recovery. So. These are stocks that are typically miners or something to do in the crypto space that I you know, keep an eye on. And the ones with a little L next to them, just by coincidence, are the ones that I'm currently holding out of this list at the moment. So um, what I'll do is um, show you, just for fun of it, what I'll do is I'll show you how to combine um, all of these individual stocks on the same chart. Um, not for um, anything you need to do in terms of being able to share the list, but just so you can sort of get an idea of you know, perhaps how you might be able to present it. You know, what I'd do is I'd send through an email of the list um, to my friends and family, um, or I'd share it on my, you know, TradingView site um, with this chart just so that people can sort of see what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a line chart just by clicking on this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add each of these stocks over here. So I've already got Mara, so I'm going to add, uh, so I've already got Hut, sorry, so I'm going to add Mara. So hit enter, then BITF, then GBOX, then CAN, then uh, Riot, oh, Riot, then Coin, then PBTS, then uh, BTCC, then WK, then BTCM. I mixed that up and made me duplicates. So Mara, BitF, Gbox, CAN, Riot, Coin, PBTS, yep, so that looks okay. And so you can see here, you know, this is just, you know, it's a bit of fun, not, not really related to sharing the list, but you can see that this is how these particular stocks have performed over time. So if I click on my one year, you can see that BitF is up, you know, roughly 1600% or 1700% over the last year. Um, Mara's up, you know, a, a fairly similar amount. Um, Riot's doing well, Hut's doing well, um, Gbox is doing well, Can's doing well. If I wanted to change that and say, well, you know, how are these stocks doing over, say, three months? Um, again, you can see that Hutt, Mara, and Wright are, you know, sort of at the top, you know, with uh, 73, 50% type returns um, over the last month, which is where Bitcoin's, you know, really been recovering quite well. You know, this BTCM, you know, is doing well, Hutt's doing well, Can's doing well, BitF's doing well, Mara's doing well. So the point of this is um, not so much related to the list, but if you're going to send it through and share it with people, you know, this could just be an interesting way of presenting it. And so, you know, what you could do from here is you could click on this little camera icon. Um, you could go save a chart image, copy the chart image, copy a link to the chart image, tweet it, you know, whatever you want to do. But, you know, that's just as a, a quick and easy way to combine a whole bunch of stocks onto the one list. And um, then what I'd like to do next is I want to share this, you know, this list here with my you know friends and family and followers. So you just simply click on these three little dots up here. You can see now there's this new function called share list. And so if, en if you enable this share list, you tick that, and you can now see there's this little copy link that's now appeared. So if I click on copy link, it says the link's copied to the clipboard. And if I open up a new tab and I click paste and hit enter, you can see that this is Angus's crypto list. And so you can now share that link with whoever you like, you know, whether it's, you know, you send it out via Twitter, via Facebook, you know, whatever you want to send it out on. Um, and so this is now your list of stocks that um, you can share with, um, as I said, you know, friends and family and whoever else you want to share it with. And they can't edit your list. You don't want them coming in and editing your list or changing stocks or adding stocks, you know, that, that impact your list. But what they can do is they can click on make a copy and they can then save that, you know, to themselves. You know, they can call it, you know, I don't know, Bob's list or something else. And so that will then save a local copy on their TradingView account um, you know, under whatever name they want to call it. And they can then use this to go through and, um, you know, analyze the different stocks, you know, in their own uh, charting and whatever else. So uh, it's kind of cool. It's a, it's a cool feature. So um, just that I'd share that with you all and, you know, you'll see who wants to be able to use it in different ways. And, you know, in my case, if there's any stocks that you think that I'm missing off my list that, you know, are doing particularly well in that, you know, crypto space that aren't actually cryptocurrencies, but, you know, stocks that, you know, either manage them or mine them or, you know, do something with them, trade them, um, you know, do let me know. I'll put, a, I'll put a link to this at the end of my post and um, we'll see how it uh, all looks. So um, let me get back to this and I'll stop the video. But 
just a quick and easy one to show you how to combine stocks onto a chart and then share it with uh, friends and family and followers. Thank you very much for listening.